Hey everybody, so today YouTube has made some changes to the YouTuber Partner Program and we're going to kind of take a look at it, see what's changing, my opinion. We're going to look at some tweets of some bigger YouTubers, look at their opinion and see if this is a bad or good thing. And some of you might actually be surprised by my answer, but I'm going to put the email that I actually got today on screen. So yes, this is affecting me, so you also have to put that in consideration. Uh, but yeah, here it is. So basically the first paragraph just says, hey, we're making channels to put more safeguards for revenue. Let's actually take a look at the interesting part at what is changing. So under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, me, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose all access to monetization tools and features associated with the YouTuber Partner Program on February 20, 20th, 2018, unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. According to this email, serves as a 30 days notice that your partner program terms are terminated. Uh, so yeah, basically, they put new requirements for this partner program to be able to monetize your videos. So... Let's quickly get my opinion out of the way, and then we're going to look at some tweets from other YouTubers. But is this a good or bad thing? And it is actually a good thing. And again, take this from a small creator that is getting affected by this, because I'm not some big creator that says, oh, uh, screw the small creators, they don't matter. Well, I'm one of them, so you're going to have to take that into account. So you might be wondering, why is this a good thing? They're taking away monetization from small creators, the startups, the people who need it. And they're having more restrictions. Well, I'll tell you this. Uh, I'll sum it up with this sentence and then I'll add up on it. Basically, YouTube right now has to choose between YouTube as a whole or just the small creators. Because the way things are going, YouTube is going to crash and the entirety of YouTube is going to go away eventually. Eventually. This way, they have to sacrifice the monetization and kind of some features for the small creators, but they can save their platform because you have to remember, this. In the reason all of this is happening is because ad revenue and uh, trying to file out good videos from bad videos, that's just really messed up right now. So especially you could see it with a lot of the controversies, of course, with, with like Jake Paul and PewDiePie. So a lot of, um, I'm not going to go through the entire story because hopefully you guys already know what, but basically... Um, ads are being pulled from YouTube because advertisers don't trust YouTube to put, their ad, to put their ads in front of good videos anymore. And for the past basically year and a half, that's what YouTube has been fighting to try to get ad revenue back. And a lot of creators recently have been affected by this and a lot of them could, are, can no longer afford to use this as a job. So for the past year and a half, we've been asking YouTube, fix your stuff, fix your stuff, fix your stuff. And... Well, sometimes fixing things isn't easy. It's not like a bright solution that helps everybody. No, this is a solution. It doesn't help. Ev it doesn't help everybody, but this is a solution. Now, hopefully, I can. I'm kind of getting my point across here. But basically, this needs to happen for YouTube to continue as it kind of was in a way. Without this, of course, we'll be fine. Everybody will be fine, but it's going to be slowly declining. So the way I see it is um, the people who use these as a job, they're in danger. People like me, small creators that are just using it as a hobby, we don't need this revenue. So me, what? I've made $20, $30 off my videos, but I don't need it. But these bigger people who have jobs, they need it. And because of this whole in entire ad revenue problem, they're not getting what they need to hold their jobs. So basically, they're taking away my monetization that I don't need to be able to help larger YouTubers whose job it is to make content. So hopefully I'm getting that across, but basically this needs to happen, or your favorite YouTubers, the ones whose job it is to create content, will no longer exist one day. And it gives me up, but again, I don't need it. I'm, well, hopefully, I know there's probably some people in that position where they need it, but Again, it, if you're under this, you're making less than $100 per month. It's kind of something that is sacrificed. And a lot of people will be like, well, I've been working three years at YouTube, which, okay, I'll get into that. And they're saying, well, this is kind of a slap in the face and that my motivation is gone. 
Well, yeah. Look, I'm in the same boat. I've been doing YouTube for three years. Every two days I've been making a video. It is a giant slap in the face to me that, well, you've been here for three years, but you know what? We're going to strip your monetization anyway. And I feel I'm one of you. I've My things are getting taken away too. But the thing is, I don't want to call people selfish, but this isn't about me or this isn't about you, a small creator. This is about YouTube as a whole. YouTube as a whole is sick and we need a way to fix it. And this is the way to fix it. So... A lot of you that are saying, well, we don't deserve this. Well, we don't, but it's just something that has to happen. I, I don't really know how to put it across in any other way. So real quickly, because I, I don't know if I'm getting my point across, but let's take a look at some other YouTubers' tweets, reactions, kind of talk over them. And one quick thing to kind of get out of the way, because a lot of people have been rumoring. So a lot of people are saying, well, doesn't this partnership include custom thumbnails and live streaming? Are those getting stripped from us? A lot of people are making a big fuss about that. No, uh, you can see here uh, a tweet. So will I still be able to use thumbnails and live streaming even if I don't have monetization from the new update? YouTube said, correct. You do not need to be part of YPP to use the creator's features like custom thumbnails or live streaming. You just need to be ver verified account by phone. So there's a difference between verified and partnered. Partnered is monetization, verified is just by phone. Yes, you can still use thumbnails and live stream. Trust me, if they taken that away, I'd be quitting. The site would be dead. Now, let's take a look at some other people's. I guess first, uh, we'll start with Boogie2988. So, I love him. He's one of my favorite creators. Let's take a look at what he said. Small YouTubers, this changes... The change... The changes monetization sucks. I agree, but if you have what it takes, it won't stop you from grinding it out and getting there. I believe in you, so believe in yourself and do the work. And a lot of people are, of course, there's good and bad. A lot of people are like, well, you're just using us as like kind of like, you know, the old statement of just keep working and you'll get there, which I agree. It is kind of like a cop out like hey, one day you'll get there. Just keep working. But um, what else is he supposed to say? I mean, um, we'll take a look at somebody else who turns it into a little bit of a negative, but essentially there's nothing he can do. He's just trying to have some positivity out there and yeah, I don't know. And essentially a kind of idea he's bringing up is that if you enjoy making videos, you'll get there. This isn't about the money. Uh, money comes in when you're financially responsible. Right now, it is just about the enjoyment of making videos. So, essentially, if you're only in it for the, for the money, yes, you're going to quit. So, if you're only in it for the money, yes, you're going to quit. But what he's saying is if you're truly passionate about video making, someone like me, I'm going to continue making videos because I love video. I love making videos, not because I want the money. So, let's take a look at another one. I hate everything. So, let's read his tweet. I didn't care about making money through my YouTube videos until I was well past 1K subs and 4K hours of watch time. This is actually a very smart idea by YouTube. These are the kinds of changes I like to see. To everyone who is disagreeing, I had a job when I first started, so that was my reliable source of income that I used to buy equipment while I could work on my passion. It took a long time for money to even be remotely worth the energy I was putting in, and one, and I agree. Uh, he's right. Um, this is a good change, obviously, for the reasons I explained earlier, and people shouldn't be starting out YouTube with the thought of money and income and them being their job. That's, that's not how you start YouTube. You start it as a hobby, and if people like your stuff, you turn it into a job. But I disagree with people starting just straight off the bat for money. Now, let's take a look at another tweet. Uh, let's take a look at Zombie Cleo. She's a small Minecraft creator. So basically, what she's saying is, uh, so how does how does all of this affect the big players creating all the problems you've been facing? What people really want is the rules to enforce on them too. So basically what she's saying is, yeah, this is all cool. This will help monetization, but this doesn't fix the problem that the reason this is happening is because of bigger creators, which is half true. Uh, so obviously things like PewDiePie, Jake Paul, they're not, uh, not Jake Paul, Logan Paul. They're not helping the situation, but it's not just them. It's a lot of the small, like, you know, bot accounts, things like that. They're the real problem because obviously advertisers don't want stuff like Jihad videos and ISIS videos. So she's half right. And she is right in the sense that how does this uh, fix the bigger creators? Why are th like when they do bad stuff? So in that sense, I agree. And I don't know. We, that's another 
idea, but what I do think is because of these changes, it will be easier to spot out bad content because there will be so much less that YouTube is going to have to look through to deem eligible, if you know what I mean. So this this will make it easier for them to get noticed that it's bad. But Now, let's take a look at the last person in this video, and we're going to be looking at uh, Keemstar, Killer Keemstar, of course, he runs a drama alert. All of you should probably know about him. Uh, so I'm going to show off two tweets. Uh, so let's take a look at the first one that is okay and then the second one, which makes me a tiny bit mad. So YouTube's new rule of taking away monetization from channels with less than 1,000 subs is a good idea. There are many clone channels that re-upload other people's content with ads and they don't care if they get caught or banned, they just make another channel. 100% true, uh, this will help stop the cloning and re-uploading, which I'm very happy for. Very, very happy. This is good. So, in this tweet, I agree with Keemstar. Let's take the second tweet, which in my opinion is just one of those stupid things that you tweet. Uh, here it is. Look, just to prove you all wrong and how untalented and undeserving some of you small YouTubers are, I'm going to make a new channel and make content and disguise my voice. I bet I can get a thousand subs in less than one month. Now, this is what I call a stupid tweet. Why did you post this? This... I mean, I get your point. You're trying to say, well, uh, some of you guys really don't really need this ad revenue. You don't deserve it. Like, you, there's no reason for you to get paid for what you're doing. And basically, he's kind of telling us off, which I don't agree with. Look, your first tweet, fine. You said the truth. This is a good change. Your, the second tweet, you're basically mocking us. There's no reason to mock us. I mean, look, it's Killer Keemstar drama, of course. And by the way, I like Killer Keemstar. Take that into account. I'm not roasting because I don't like him. I actually like Killer Keemstar. But, uh, yeah, just this tone seems very, like, condescending, like, you're telling us off. I don't agree with that. It, look, I'm not going to say it's not true because some are undeserving and untalented. But uh, he's you're kind of saying it in a mean way. Um, that might be me being a little um, sensitive. But you know what? I'm actually, I don't really care, but I know a lot of people are going to take offense to this. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, so conclusion, I think this is a good thing. Uh, I can see why at first glance people are like, whoa, this is really bad. But to my response to that, is a lot of you are going to hate this, but you need to stop being selfish. This is about YouTube as a whole, not about individual small creators. This has to happen to keep the platform alive. So basically, if you don't want this, you're taking down big YouTubers with you, or you can kind of just follow yourself and keep the YouTubers up there. So it's kind of one of those things where you kind of have to sacrifice yourself to the greater good, which sounds terrible, but it's kind of what has to happen in my opinion. So guys, uh, hopefully this informed you a little bit. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Maybe you could prove me wrong. Maybe my information is not correct. Maybe how I'm thinking is not correct. I'm very open to that. Tell me in the comments and I'll respond to you. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.